So, as you guys can see in the title, this is definitely something new. Something not... I mean, it's anime related specifically because this series that we're gonna be talking about has an anime and it is an original manga. So, let's just dive right into it. So, uh, I recently just... No, not... Re not recently, I mean like literally just watched the first five episodes of uh, Alice to Borderland and uh, I think in the Japanese title it's Imawa no Kuri no Arisu but I'm not I just nailed that anyway so we're, we're here to be talking about the first five beautiful masterpiece episodes of Alice in Borderland like but I just saw this yesterday and uh, it, it's a top in their country so it's trending so Basically, I searched if there were people who already reviewed uh, Alice in Borderland. I mean, there are a few people, but then I thought it would be a perfect idea for my upload schedule, especially that it's been like four days ever since the first episode, or not first episode, like the whole series dropped in the Netflix. So, we're basically gonna be talking about it. So, Alice in Wonderland is Wonderland. <laughs> so, Alice in Borderland is basically a manga series originally published by Shogakukan and then it has 18 volumes as far as I can remember and it has, I checked the anime, not really watch it, I just checked what it looked like and then I might just say it, this live action might probably be better than the anime. To be fair, the one I saw in the anime, it's like 3-5 episodes and uh, it's like 2014 when it's first released so, be, so the quality isn't really the highest. So. I think this might be the best. Yeah, I think it's the best live action that I've seen because, mind you, I've seen a ton of live action. For example, the first one I saw was <laughs> Attack on Titan, like the, the live action. Like, I've seen Attack on Titan, I Am a Hero, uh, what else? I'm about to watch Kakiguri. Uh, what, what, what else did I watch? Psychic no Sainan. And I'm about to watch Wotakoi, something around those. So I've had my fair share of my live action. So basically these are my thoughts on thoughts. <laughs> these are my thoughts on the Alice in Borderland live action. Okay, can I just say the the quality is so goddamn high. Like the the amount of budget they probably spent like just doing the first two episodes or first three, but it's really like super high quality it's not your average what they call this live action because as we all know <laughs> live actions are bad usually the ones i watch have like the it doesn't even have like 1080p but it's probably because the if the place i'm watching in is like the problem but really the quality not just like what you see in the screen on how how clear you see but this the amount of money they spent and probably the amount of uh, many actors they had and the places they had to rent and then like uh, The amount of editing that they need to go through that like it's so good So the thing is I've actually seen the Anohana thing the Anohana live action and one of the the main character on the Anohana live action The one who acted that's Jintan is actually part of the live action of Alice in Borderland and the main character of uh, basically Alice or Alice uh, in the, the live action is Yamazaki Kento, which is like I love him so much. Basically, he's as hacked in the Wotakoi. He did uh, did he do Prince of Tennis? Because as far as I can remember, he did that. But that don't quote me on that. He also did Psyche Kusuna Sainan, which is just so perfect for the role. So, which makes this like watching experience way better. Can I just say I've never screamed. For my life before not just for my life like the life of the actors because it was so intense for mind you the, uh, every episode has one game and it's so good man so basically if you guys don't know what Alice in Borderland is it's basically people from Tokyo I don't think Tokyo maybe the world or just Japan uh, they got transported into another world it's it's like isekai but it's the good isekai basically uh, everyone in the world disappeared and uh, they need to clear the games so that they can uh, go back to the original world but every games 
is so intense and uh, they have like each time they clear a game they have three visas which is basically they have three days to live without having to play a game so they still need to play a game and risk their life every like three days the first game like the first game was basically they have to pick a door which is if they if they have a time limit and if they don't pick the door within the time limit the room will be filled with fire and if they pick the wrong door they would get lasered which they would also die so basically there are two doors which is live or live live and die which is basically for some reason i get distracted by the live door because the door has an anime girl in it like did they really have to it was so intense like really the the thought of just dude i thought the the, the high school girl would survive because i mean why not and uh yeah spoiler alert it's in the first episode they died and basically it was so intense man. like chota i was so worried for chota because his legs got burned and after that first episode they realized like they have visas whenever they uh play a game and then they could survive for three days without having to play games here the second game this is where the the main character from anahana appeared and they basically have it's basically a tag game. There's an it, which is basically they have guns, and then you have to find the uh, the safe zone before uh, the timer twenty minutes comes off, and it, and then bro, like, can I just say, I was so scared for Karube because I thought he would die, but he kind of did. He completed the game. It was so like it's so intense, like. The, the the one the it who didn't finish the game or win the game uh, had their like 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 no they had their neck like cut off it was so gory, gory. yeah this is basically where we meet the, the Anohana guy I forgot his name in the series and we meet Usagi as well and now the third game <sighs> the third game made me cry like legit made me cry because. Uh, it was a heart game, which is basically they need to betray people. So basically, the thing is, uh, the four main characters, the one we saw, like we've been with for the past three episodes, are basically the participants, the only participants. They basically need to uh, be the wolf at the end so that they survive. So basically, they have to not make eye contact because the wolf will transfer if you make eye contact so basically they've been running from each other and i thought i actually thought for sure that chota would actually be the one to just like i want to live i thought it was gonna be karobe who's gonna be like no you, you okay i'm just gonna sacrifice my life for you because that was his character for the past two episodes and yo man like i, I really cried like they they really just had to do karobe dirty like that so basically all three of them died is it Shibiku or Shibizu? Basically, uh, that girl and then Chota and then uh, Karube sacrificed their life so that uh, Arisu would survive, which made me. I think if we're gonna like compare all, all the games that they had, that was probably the best game. And oh god, I'm gonna cry. I'm still getting reminded of the third game which dude like uh, Arisu just had a flashback of how Chota and Karube were like friends and stuff like that and then at first they were all like hey I want to live let me be the wolf at the end and like I mean obviously Arisu wants to live as well so basically he ran away so that he can be the wolf and then he just realized that if his friends die anyways and he survives, he has no point of living anymore. So basically, he wanted to be like Karube or Chota to be the wolf. But then Chota and Karube like, like he ran away and hid from Arisu. So basically that he would be the wolf and he would be the one to survive till the end. And dude, like uh, Shibuku, what's her name? Oh, it's Shibuki. I've been saying, I've been butchering the name for it. So basically, Shib Shibuki, she's a really interesting character. She's like the epitome of uh, when a human is in danger, they will show their true colors. But then at the end, when there's like 10 or 30 seconds left, he hugged Chota, she hugged Chota. And then they all accepted 
that they would die. And dude, Alison like he Karube was right there in front of him. And then he's like, thank you. And then his head just popped off. And then the fourth game is was uh, basically everyone, everyone died and it's uh, Usagi and uh, Arisu. Basically, they have to run to go to the goal. But then one of the people that they just recently met have their uh, like leg like sprain. So basically, he can't join. So basically, they've been running for like ha an hour, I think. And then they're there, they realize that gasoline works and then they can use the, the, the bus that they are in, which is plot twist was the gold so they didn't really need to like run or anything which uh, I really feel bad for the guy who wanted to see his wife and his kid and then this ended up dying because apparently he didn't know that there was a mind game into it uh, also can we just appreciate the Osagi and Arisu scenes like I ship them so much I haven't watched the last three episodes though and I, and I heard there's gonna be like a season 2, which I'm looking forward. So overall, if I'm gonna comment on the first 5 episodes I've seen, it's definitely the best live action of anime out there. Because, as we all know, like, live action fails horribly because they can't portray what is easily portrayed in animation and just drawing on paper. But really, uh, I really think this one is gonna be really close to Masterpiece because it's not gory for the sake of being gory, it's gory for the sake of the good ass story. So I really suggest you guys watch this. On the other note though, here are some concerns. Uh, there are some uh, sexual scenes in it. I mean, if you combine all of it, it's not even gonna last like two minutes. So, I mean, it's kind of, you know, this is my thing with Japanese like movies or series. There's always gonna be some kind of sex scenes or like intimate scenes in there. Like, this is why I feared watching it in front of my family because uh, I, I immediately, like, I was gonna watch it. There was the TV and then uh, my, my family's there and then I was eating. And then at the first episode, Karabu was kissing another woman which uh, was cheating on their boss. And dude, I immediately turned it off because I didn't know how, lo how far they would take that kiss scene. So like, the thing is, I mean, if you're gonna watch it, don't watch it with your family if it's awkward for you guys to watch it together. But definitely, it's a really good series. And if we're gonna compare the anime manga and the live action, I definitely think that the live action is better than the anime in terms of quality. But I've seen the, the, the Arisu in the original anime and manga, but dude, I, I would really prefer the live action Arisu because I, I already hated the guts of the original Arisu and I don't know if I'm gonna check the manga but definitely I would check like the, the, the anime because it's definitely short and I really think it would be interesting because they definitely changed up some parts of the story so I, it would be definitely interesting to see what they change. I just remembered that the live action of Death Note <laughs> Like the westernized live action of Death Note was also made by Netflix. I was gonna, I was about to like praise Netflix for making such a good live action, but I mean I guess you won this this part. But the Death Note live action was really crap. So I don't know how the story will go after that three episodes that I'm about to watch. And it's it's a really good series. I really recommend it. And if if you see it in the Netflix, definitely go ahead and watch it. And that's probably all for today. I really just want to say that it's a really good series, so please check it out. Uh, I forgot to comment on the beach, the the beach, not the the original the the, the, the female dog. But yeah, it, for some reason, uh, it, it kind of felt weird uh, hearing beach all all over again in the live action. But it's a good thing. It's a good part of the story. It's not really like. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know how to explain it, but definitely, um, I want to go to the beach soon. If you find the one, you should never give her up. I think it's the way life changes when in love, yeah. I surround my soul with the positivity.